हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ गौरव जगदीश पाठक एंड टुडे वेलकम्स यू इन द न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग थर्मोडाइनामिक्स एंड द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक व्हिच इज वे आर फोकसिंग टुडे इज द बॉयलर ड्रॉट्स व्हाट आर द बॉयलर ड्रॉट्स द बॉयलर ड्रॉट्स मे बी डिफाइंड एज द स्मॉल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द प्रेशर ऑफ द आउटसाइड एयर एंड दैट of the gases within the furnace or chimney at the gates level which causes the flow of air of hot flue gases to take the place through the boiler the drafts are necessary to force the air through the fuel bed grate to add the proper combustion of the fuel and which removes the products of the combustion that is fuel gases and burn air also the unburned particles which are generated from burning fuels that is the flue gases to the atmosphere after they have gives their heat to the water being evaporated into the boiler drafts also provides the velocity to the flue gases and so increase the heat transfer coefficient in the boiler thus the drafts are essentially required in the boiler and it can be produced by the numerical method in front of your screen you can see the classification of drafts they are basically classified into two major parts that is natural draft and artificial drafts further the artificial drafts are classified in two groups that is steam jet and mathematical jet then the induced and forced drafts are the two types in steam jet draft while as the induced force and balanced drafts are the three types into the mechanical drafts now friends what is natural drafts the natural drafts is obtained naturally by the use of chimney and chimney is a conical shaped vertical tubular steel to the to concrete structure having the large height the flue gases after transferring their heat into the boiler they are guided by the chimney to considerable height into the atmosphere as the chimney has the large height and it is the only outlet from the boiler it's remain filled by the hot flue gases these exhaust gases however have give their heat to the water into the boiler and are still hotter than the boiler room air due to this the exhaust gases are lighter into the weight than the outside air and which lifts up the naturally into the chimney which are finally escape out of the atmosphere from the top of the chimney as the flue gases lift up the chimney more gases from the flue bed towards the chimney to take their places during this process the first flow through the boiler and do the job of heating of water and produce steam as the fire gases flow through the boiler and then through the chimney the fresh air from the outside naturally enters into the boiler which helps the burning of the fuel and produces of the hot flue gases so in this way a small pressure difference in the naturally created between the base of the chimney and the air inlet point of the boiler because of the density difference between the hot flue gases this pressure difference is called the natural drafts because it produces naturally in front of your screen you can see the line diagram in which how the natural drafts are created through the chimney and what is the pressure difference between the generated gases now what is the artificial drafts that is when the draft it produced by some external agency that is mechanical fan or blower by the steam jet inside it it is called artificial drafts in modern chemical boilers more valves of drafts is required to increase the heat transfer coefficient and hence the internal efficiency so the artificial draft are must to be used to overcome the flow resistance offered by the large passage as compared to this the forced drafts are 
the positive pressure dots and the fan in the instead install at the base of the boiler before the grid which forces the outside air through the fuel bed and furnace to the preheater then the gases are through the fuel passage the enclosures for the furnace has to be very tightly sealed so the gases from the furnace do not leak out to the boiler house in this system compared to induced drafts or blower is located on the near base of the chimney which creates the partial vacuum into the furnace and fluid passage thus the air and the flue gases are drawn through the boiler which is due to comparatively high pressure of the outside air it is convenient to produce the induced draft and like to force it directly with types of the plan may be used now the last type in the drafts which will become as the balanced draft it is the combination of force and induced draft which forces draft over the resistance of the air which in induced draft the fan overcomes the draft losses through the boiler and it is connected flue passage etc but depending upon the type of fuel burn and type of boiler the fan or blower is usually for any type as radial and axial type these are the some kinds of drafts we will see but by adopting these drafts we have some mechanical advantages for particular drafts in mechanical advantages mechanical drafts that is more economical and control is easily which desired value of draft can be produced by mechanical means which cannot be produced by any other natural draft that they increase the rate of combustion and also they reduce the smoke level to increase the heat transfer coefficient on the flue gases they also saves the energy and heat of flue gases that can be best utilized by them now what are the disadvantage for mechanical drafts that is the initial cost of the mechanical draft is high the running cost is also high the maintenance is required regularly to the mechanical draft the all the parts fitted into the mechanical drafts are made up from the various mechanical arrangements which gives the noise and the noise level for the boiler is also high due to fan or blower now steam jet drafts it is the very simple and easy method to produce the artificial draft without the need of any electric motor the steam under pressure is available in the boiler when the small portion of the steam is passed through the jet of nozzle the pressure energy converts the kinetic energy and steam which comes out highly velocity this high velocity steam carries along with it a large mass of air or few gases and make it flow through the boiler steam jet is directed towards the fixed direction and which carries all energy of kinetic form it creates some vacuum in the surrounding and so attracts the air flue gases either by the carrying along with it thus it has the high capacity to make flow on the flue gases either by carrying in loose towards the chimney in front of your screen you can see the line diagram for particular drafts force and steam jet drafts now the steam steam from the boiler after have been throttled to the gauge pressure of 1.5 to 2 bar which is supplied to the jet of nozzle instead of ash and the peat the steam emerging out of the nozzle with the great velocity which drags along the fuel bed furnace and passage to the chimney here 
द स्टीम जेट इज फोर्सिंग द एयर इन टू द फ्लू गैसेज सो विच फ्लो थ्रू द बॉयलर हैंस इट इज फोर्स स्टीम जेट ट्रॉट्स नाउ वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेस फॉर दिस स्टीम जेट ड्रॉट्स दैट इज इट इज वेरी क्वाइट एंड चीप इट हैज द कैपेसिटी टू यूज द लो रेड फ्यूल्स एंड इट ऑक्युपाइज वेरी लेस स्पेस इनिशियल कॉस्ट फॉर दैट काइंड ऑफ ड्रॉट्स इज वेरी लो एंड मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट इज ऑल्सो लो बट एज कंपेयर टू एडवांटेजेस सम वॉट डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑल्सो देयर फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ ड्रॉट that is it can be operates only when some steam is generated and the draught produced is very low there are some kind of draught losses are there which are losses due to frictional resistance losses due to bends in the gas flow circuit and losses due to the friction heat a great economizer superheater etc losses due to flow resistance offered by the chimney this is all about the drafts of the steam boiler we will see the another topic in new way thank you